Nature is wiggly. Everything wiggles. The outlines of the hills, the shapes of the trees, the way the wind brushes the grass, the clouds, the tracks of streams. It all wiggles. And for some reason or other, we find wiggly things very difficult to keep track of. And you know, we say to people, uh, keep still so that I can see you. Keep still for the camera. And we say, well, let's get things straightened out. Let's get this ironed out. Let's get it all squared away. And then somehow we think we understand things when we have translated them into terms of straight lines and squares. Maybe that's why they call a rather rigid people's squares. But it doesn't fit nature. You know, wherever human beings have been around and done their thing, you find rectangles. We live in boxes. Our streets, especially across states like Kansas and Nebraska, are laid out in a grid pattern. Why, they even dropped a grid pattern on top of San Francisco with all those hills so that cars run away. Because it seems that the human being really has a very simple kind of mind. And all this wiggliness is too complicated. I don't think it really is complicated because after all, it's very simple to move, say, to raise something or to open and close your hand, it's perfectly easy because we don't have to think about it. Things become complicated only when we think about them. And that's because we're trying to translate them into a form of life which is very much simpler and cruder than the forms of life we're talking about. A triangle is very much simpler and cruder than a mountain, even though you may represent a mountain with a triangle. Human beings are just as wiggly as nature, and our brains are an incredible mess of wiggles. And that's the part of ourselves that we understand least of all. I'm afraid the problem is partly due to Mr. Euclid, who invented geometry, because he didn't really measure the Earth. He measured and gave us ideas about the very simple forms in his own mind. And perhaps we should come to the conclusion that he really had a rather weak intellect. Because sometimes when I'm in the middle of all this, I feel as if I were in the middle of an amazing brain.